dogs. Hello, hello, Tammy Cinematic Skeins. This is episode 34. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. I ramble. I talk about knitting and yarn acquisitions, primarily. <laughs> and if you're, you've been here before, you know how it is. <laughs> You know what to expect. Um, I apologize. I am not, honestly, I am not in the mood. <laughs> That's a bad way of putting it, but I'm just not in the headspace to do the videos and the things right now. And so I have a couple of these things I haven't opened and I wasn't going to film today, but I have a couple of days I haven't opened, so here we are. And then I was sitting here um, trying to figure out my schedule because uh, with my job, I don't know if I mentioned it here, but I have to put in all my vacation time at the beginning of the year and my boss has already asked for that. Who knows what's going on next year? I don't know, but I have to plan it anyway. Um, so anyway, I was looking at the calendar and I realized I completely forgot to open the Explorer Knits and Fibers on Wednesday. Nobody commented or said anything. So yeah, I completely overlooked it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open all that. Um, let's see. As far as filming for the remainder of the week, I may hold on to a couple of days and film on Wednesday. I don't know we'll see what happens. Um, I know I have another scan. Do I have my doctor's appointment before Christmas or after? I don't remember. I know I have to go get another ultrasound of my kidneys. Um, so yeah, anyway, <laughs> rambling already, but I'm not gonna ramble with so much because I have a lot of stuff to unopen. I do have a couple of things to show. Um, did I bring my iPad? Of course I didn't. Um, if you've been here before, you know I mentioned I wanted to do the Long Road Cardigan, I think it's called, um, that's in the line of publishing contrast book because I saw it at Woolen Folk and loved it and bought all the yarn. I bought like, um, where is it? <laughs> where did I put it? Oh, I put it away. Um, mm, I bought that blue yarn for it. The blue mist. Um, Woolies. That's it. Woolies. Uh, Lion Brand Woolies. Because I was going to use that to make it. And Woolen Pine. I wish I had my iPad so I could show you. Woolen Pine has a new cardigan. A new cabled cardigan. And I like the cables of that more. And what they call for is holding worsted yarn double and one of the yarns they recommend is Woolies and I actually have enough for my size so I'm thinking maybe I'll make that sweater with my Woolies instead of the long road cardigan like I like the long road cardigan because it's got a hood on it which I thought was pretty sweet but then I really thought about it and I wouldn't actually use the hood much like, you know, if my ears were cold, I would probably try to pull it up. But then with yarn and my hair and the, the, the threads and the hair and yeah, I probably wouldn't use it. So long explanation later, I think I'm going to make the woolen pine cardigan with my Woolies yarn instead of the long road cardigan. That doesn't mean I'm not going to make the long road cardigan at some point. I may still decide to make it, but I really like the cables of the Woolen Pine one. I don't remember what it's called. Something coat. Is it Deep Winter Coat? Is that what it's called? I don't remember. I didn't bring my iPad in here because I was not planning to do this. But I was sitting here listening to my audiobook thinking, eh, let's go ahead and do it. So here I am. <laughs> Look, four minutes. Four minutes of rambling. There you go. And it's not even my typical upbeat rambling. It's just like, eh. Here's a bunch of information you didn't need. And then let's see what else is going on. Oh, I left the thing I did that I wanted to show you guys over there. Am I going to get up to get it? No. <laughs> you know why? Because it's chilly in here 
and I got my blanket on and I'm finally slightly warm and I don't want to move anymore. So we'll just show that another time uh, if I remember to. My craft room is still messy, but I finished my yarn wall. Let me see if I can turn this around and show you. Just quick swing by the window. There's the yarn wall. Hopefully that worked and wasn't like super crazy. Ah, rocking it. <laughs> there you go. Here's the yarn wall. Um, all the yarn is out now. All the yarn is over there. Um, I had decided I bought these baskets. I don't know if you saw one when I turned the camera around because I'm not going to pause and look. Um, but I bought these baskets to put the ball yarn in. But then I'm like, out of sight, out of mind, like I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and put that in what I was formerly using as my yarn bins. And I will also use my bins to store the stuff that I ship yarn in. And it's going to be nice and organized and lovely. Or I should put fabric up there. I don't know. I'm going to use my old yarn bins for the mini skeins and the ball yarn. I'm thinking that I'll only take up one of them. So then one's going to be shipping stuff and then maybe I'll put fabric in the other one. I don't know, but we're getting organized slowly, slowly. But anyway, let me show you some stuff. Um, I finished my shawl. Let's have a discussion. <laughs> I was, I was happy when I started the shawl. I like the pattern of the shawl. I like the colors I decided to use. However, I do wish I had not used this cedar because it's a little too pink for me, but I like it. But my point is with this, you know what I told you guys last episode, I felt like it was a slog. Well, it turned into, oh my God, when is this ever going to get finished? And I forced myself to not do anything else but work on it so I could finish it so it would be done. And now my make along, the uh, evil... MCAL forces of evil source of evil source of evil source of evil MCAL I was doing that I like that's also a mosaic shawl it's gonna hibernate because I can't <laughs> I like mosaic knitting I do I am tired of knitting flat right now so it's gonna hibernate and I'm not gonna touch it because I just don't want to I honestly am considering taking a knitting break the shawl broke me. I don't know if it's just me or working on this shawl, but I'm broken now. <laughs> I don't want to work on anything. So I've been picking up socks and revisiting my hibernating project bag stash. And I've pulled some projects and taken some things apart. Um, I've started planning out the blanket that I want to make in 2023. My color work blanket. I'm still working that out. Um, I need a new notebook to draw like I have graph I have a graph notebook but I want a spiral bound graph notebook because I'm picky and yeah so I need to buy a new spiral bound graph notebook so I can work on my blanket planning um I thought about like literally taking a break from fiber and just sewing and practicing my sewing machine skills because they're not great but I need the practice I thought about pausing on the making of the things all together and just catching up on all the books in my bookcase I haven't read. Like I'm in a mood y'all. Uh, not to say I'm done knitting but <sighs> working on this did something to me and I, I need I don't know if it's a combination of working on this and all the stuff that's been going on like the medical stuff and work. I'm not even going to go into work. Um, threw my knee out last night and then that made me focus on the fact that I've gotten super chubby and which is not good for my knees. And I'm just, there's too much going on in my head right now to focus. So I'm just like, socks. <laughs> I even picked up, I even picked up my pink nightmare socks and I finished one last night. I don't know if I have enough yarn to do the second one because I don't normally make socks this long and this looks massive. I do have big feet. But <laughs> this is actually a little too big um, because of the pattern. Because I wanted to keep doing it. Like, I followed the pattern to where you have to like switch to the toe cable to end the cable. And then you knit and then you do the 
the closing of the toe and what yeah with that one last pattern repeat it's a little too long but if I hadn't repeated the pattern it would have looked funky so they fit it's just a little bit loose but I finished one of the pink nightmare socks and it's hard to tell on the thing I haven't actually blocked this yet I literally finished it this morning but that's the cable pattern and I don't remember who it's by um, like the designer name I know their Instagram it's left sock left sock best sock the person that did the film reel socks um so yeah I worked on that last night and then I kitchenered the toe this morning and like I said, I don't know if I have enough yarn to do a second sock because I don't typically make socks this long. Um, normally my socks are here, but we'll see what happens. Or there. Yeah, normally I do my socks there. So it's not a lot of extra, but with the cabling and all that, I feel like cables use more yarn, do they? <laughs> Maybe I'm making that up. I don't know. It's my first cabling. So yeah. Anyway, worked on the sock. Anyway, I should show you guys the shawl that has caused me to lose faith in the world. <sighs> I'm kidding. I love, I like it. I do like it. And I'm really glad, I'm really glad that I made it. And I'm really, really freaking glad that it's done. And I'm sure that I'm the only person that had an issue with the making of the shawl, but it's in a weird headspace right now. Um, last time y'all saw it, I was there. So I did all of this. Which, that's a good chunk, yeah? So yeah, it's done now. So now that I've shown you guys, I keep hitting my arm. Now that I've shown you all that, I can take this stitch marker off, show you the whole thing. I don't wanna lose it. Okay. It is slightly asymmetrical which I've learned that even though I don't wear shawls, I think I would prefer them to be symmetrical because I feel like it would help me wear it. Because <laughs> I tried to wrap this around my neck like people do and, uh, but uh, there you go. So yeah, it's slightly asymm asymmetrical. These are the ends, see? And then a close up so you can see the texture. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, and then on the reverse, like I said, I feel like you could wear it reversed because it basically, the honeycombs are stripes, which I thought was pretty cool. So yeah, it's done. Look at all that knitting, look at all that knitting. Um, and this was Malabrigo Work Sock Sport which I told you guys feels rough and I've fought with it a bit. Um, I did block the swatch I had made of the stripes for this and it does soften up when you block it. It's just when you first use it that it's like, ugh. Um, and we all know that I love my chickadee heather yarn from Quince and Company. It's like, I think primarily my knitting projects are all Quince and Company chickadee heather. I love this yarn, like I love it so soft um yeah so this is done I haven't blocked it yet uh, I get to use those blocking wires I just I don't have the space to block it right now so it's gonna hang out until I feel like blocking it or unless the designer's like hey can you can you do a block unblocked version I might have to measure it like the blocked version I have to look at the notes um yeah, I probably should go ahead and block it, huh? Anyway, this is the Nordurni shawl by Melanie Berg, who I love. But knitting this broke me. I, I just, I got tired of doing it. And I think forcing myself to continually work on something that, not that it didn't bring me joy, but that was just, well, I guess it didn't really. I'm not trying to discourage anyone from making it. I feel like it was, it's just me. Um... <laughs> I've been going on about this for too long. 
<laughs> anyway, I really like this. It's a, it's an easy knit. I just, I think I got bored and forcing myself to continue working on it did something to my headspace. <laughs> so now I don't want to knit mosaic for a little bit because I got bored. Um, because it's, re it's repetitive. I will say that it is repetitive. Um, because I mean, like I said, you're doing this part and then you do this part and then you repeat it over and over and over again with different colors. And I just, I got, I just got tired of doing it, man. It, <sighs> And I think also, I'm a little sick of knitting flat <laughs> right now. Like, knitting in the round is my thing. I think I just, I need a break from knitting flat, um, which is why I'm not starting on anything else right now. I'm just going to keep finishing up my socks. I might do some of the cowls that are in my queue. I might do my dinosaur stocking, even though I'm super behind because it's almost the holiday and I don't remember when that make along is over, but I don't know. I need to knit in the round for a bit for a while um, before I pick up anything that needs flat knitting again. And I do have my harvest sweater I could be working on. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not in the mood right now. So yeah. <laughs> Let's see, others work in progress. We got our freckled whimsy socks. And I keep seeing the, is it Woolens and Nosh? I kind of wish I'd gotten that one because it's got that alternating gray stripe. Not saying I don't like this one, but I really wish I had the Woolens and Nosh one. <laughs> but there we go, heels are finished. Um, I did the heels in a contrasting color, like the cuff. Um, I'm thinking about doing the toe in a variegated, just to make it fun, um, but we'll see. But yeah, that's it so far. 17 stripes plus that little bit of a stripe because it wasn't a full stripe, so I kept going. And did, I don't count it in my stripe count because it wasn't a full stripe. Um, it did get a little skinny around here from the gusset stitches or whatever, but I don't really care. That doesn't bother me. Um, yeah, so these are cute. They're all right. Um, I feel like there's too much purpley shades in here for me. Like, and it's... Like, this part looks good together, this part looks good together, and this part just looks off. You know what I mean? It's like the flow's off, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm being super negative today. I don't mean to be, but the flow's off. You see what I mean? It's it like it, it's like it's broken. I don't know, cause all this like looks kind of matchy, and then it's I don't know, just whatever. Anyway, that's those. And after knitting these, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Magic Loop, but after doing this two at a time deal. I really wish I had done this two at a time because I don't know when I'm going to work on the second sock for this. I just, oh. maybe like in the future, if I have patterned socks, I'm going to have to do them two at a time so they get finished because they take forever. Okay. Trying to do the non-opening stuff because the opening stuff is going to take a little bit. Uh, Self-striping. Here we go. Um, mustache yarns. Um, if you guys watch the grocery girls, they've already mentioned this. I had already ordered it at that point, which they also mentioned something else that I already own on the last episode. And I was like, man, I'm so in the club now. Um, but anyway, this is the little women and I ordered the, it's supposed to be a knit along. I don't know if I'm actually going to do the knit along. I just wanted the yarn. I don't even know what the pattern is. Um, I haven't downloaded it. I have a code to download it somewhere. But anyway, I wanted the yarn. And the thing with the yarn was you it came with, if you bought the kit, I bought the kit. So I got the yarn and then you get to pick a contrasting mini that stands for one of the sisters. I got Joe because she's my favorite. The Winona Ryder version. Um, even though I think she was stupid. And why would you not go for Christian Bale? Who 
fix Gabriel Byrne over Christian Bale. Ugh. Have I read the book? No, but I've seen multiple versions of the movie. It's fine. Anyway, this is it. And you guys are probably listening to my stomach, girl. I'm sorry. Uh, this is on D. This is can't talk. This is DK. Um, so this is the everyday DK must match self striping. Um, seventy five twenty five. But yeah, I just thought it was really pretty neutral. And Joe was green. They, she had a really pretty blue, but it was for Amy, and I don't like Amy, so I didn't get that one. I know I'm weird. It shouldn't matter. It's yarn, but I don't like Amy. Um, so snooty. Anyway, I wanted the blue, but I got the green because I like Joe. So yes. And of course, after I ordered it, she opened it up to where you could add multiple contrast skeins. I'm not gonna order another one. I have blue. I have my own blue. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I I'm not sure. I can't remember. Is it a sock? It's probably a sock. The knit along. But it's a it's a mystery knit along. Um, so yeah. I just wanted the yarn. All right, and other acquisitions. That yarn I got in the door prize. So you guys, I found it in New York, the discontinued colors. Where's the tape? Oh, it's so soft. I don't know why I smell yarn. It smells good though. This is Blue Ridge. And you know, I'm from Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains. And blue, Blue Ridge. Oh, they're so soft. And if you're, if you're new here, the reason I was like in love with this yarn, it's called, um, I should probably tell you all that. It's Juniper Moon Farm Yarn. The name of it is 14 and it's 14 micron merino with cashmere. It's 9010 cashmere. So 9010 Merino Cashmere. This one is Oasis. Yes, this one's Oasis. Because what do I have a lot of? Blue and teal. Okay. And then this one I ordered because on the website it looked really, really, really dark. It's not really, really, really dark in person, but it's okay. It's purple. It's fine. Uh, this is Eternity. You know, I like my eggplanty purple, and that's what it looked like on the website, but it's not. It's it's fine. And I can throw these into the basket. Oh, I missed one. Do you play basketball? No. Oh, missed two. Okay, that's fine. I'm six feet tall. I get asked if I play basketball all the time. I'm not that coordinated. I got a darker gray, because of course I did. Charcoal. This is primarily what I, I meant to order, but those colors were extras um, in the black. Mm. I may still continue to hunt for this black. Um, this is, uh, they only had two balls of it at the store in New York. Um, and it is a discontinued color, so a little harder to find, but this is really what I wanted was the black and the charcoal. Um, so the charcoal, got four balls of but I'm thinking of using these with the light charcoal and doing like a like a buffalo plaid is it only buffalo plaid if it's red I don't know anyway a plaid got that one missed that one got that one oh, missed three anyway so about that and then, you guys knew there were more acquisitions. Benny, no. Lila Styles. I had ordered um, some yarn cozy. She had a sale. I don't use cozies a lot, but I have found recently that they are helpful for like my smaller 50 gram skeins because they tend to fall apart more than my 100 gram skeins. I don't know. It's a thing. Anyway, <laughs> I had ordered those a couple weeks ago and they got lost. 
um, well, misdelivered. They said they were delivered to my box because I don't have a mailbox out front. We have like a communal box at the end of the block. Um, they said they were delivered to my, my mailbox. They were not. And whoever got them never gave them back to the post office. So, thieves. Anyway, Lila Styles, she had a new bag and I was like, I need that. And um, she saw that my package had been lost. So she sent me replacement yarn cozies, which was really sweet of her. She didn't have to do that. I even sent her an email. I was like, my package was lost, but you don't have to replace it. It's fine. I'll order more stuff from you later. And she replaced it anyway, which I thought was really sweet. Um, you guys have already seen this because um, I already have one, but I ordered a backup because it matches my bag. I really wish I had a full on bag with this pattern on it that isn't the tote that I have. Like, you know, I want a big bag with this on. But I still haven't found this fabric anywhere. Anyway, got a Beetlejuice one to match my Beetlejuice bag that I have from her. I got a Labyrinth one to match the Labyrinth bag. I like things that coordinate y'all. And then I don't have this bag yet, but I bought the Yarn Cozy anyway. Um, so this is the Lost Boys sleep all day party all night okay so I didn't buy the bag for this one I've seen it a couple times because it's just a little too busy for me but I figure if I buy a lost boys bag in the future this will go in there so yes and then let me show you the bag I bought and then y'all have to help me because I watch a lot of movies but maybe I'm missing something I recognize every single character on here except for one. I don't know why I can't figure out who it is. I don't know who it is. Maybe they're in the same movie and I don't know them because it's not like a big movie of mine. I don't know. Anyway, look at this. Look at it. Isn't it cute? Look, 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 John McClane. And Gruber. <laughs> and I think this is Elf and the Chicken Elf. It's not one of my favorite movies. I think that's what this is. Anyway, but yeah, John McClane and Hans Gruber, hilarious. And then you got Gizmo here and the Gremlins. Is there a better one of the Gremlins where you see all of them? Yeah. The Gremlins. Stripe. He's my favorite. Um, and then you got the kid from Christmas Story. And you've got Clark, and I don't remember the dude's name, but you know, Shitter's Full, that guy. And then you got Jack and Sally, and the, the Harry Potter kids, Hermione, Ron, and Harry. And who is this? <laughs> I recognize every character except this one. Who is this? Who is it? I don't recognize it. Who is it? I guess technically all of these movies are holiday movies, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Oh yeah, you got Kevin and, and the Home Alone dudes. What were they called? Is it the Wet Bandits? What are they called? I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> I haven't watched that in forever. Who's, who is this? <laughs> Y'all tell me, I don't know. I could not figure it out to save my life. I've looked at this entire bag and I recognize everybody except them. Oh, where's the Grinch and Max? The Grinch and Max? I named my German Shepherd Max after the Grinch's dog. And then after I watched the movie Gladiator, he became Maximus. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's everybody. Yeah, that's everybody except for that. I don't know what that is. Tell me what it is. So yeah, that's my bag <laughs> from Layla Styles. Um, okay, and then I was in Michaels and they had a book from Cascade Yarns and it's just knit squares, blanket squares. And I thought it would just be fun to incorporate and to use up some stash yarn. Um, yeah, like, wait, there was a blue one, hang on. <laughs> pick one I would actually do oh yeah like you know different squares and whatnots and 
I figure even though I'm planning to do a color work blanket, maybe I want to like have alternating squares. Or maybe this will be a separate thing that I do with leftover yarn. I don't know. I could do like Chevis is doing, like where she has all the, was it the 200 crochet squares? There's only 60 of these. I could make 60 knit squares. That's overkill. It's a big ass blanket, isn't it? Anywho, I just thought it would be fun. Where's that one square that I was like, ooh, that's pretty. Oh, where it is. Look it. It looks like Cubert. So yeah, I got a blanket square book from Cascade Yarns called 60 Quick Knit Blanket Squares. Mix and match for custom designs using 220 Superwatch Merino. I'm not gonna use 220 Superwatch Merino. Well, I have one skein of 220 Superwatch Merino that might go into this, but I only have one, so yeah. But I have plenty of yarn, <laughs> as y'all have seen. So yes. Oh, speaking of yarn, um, I mentioned my friend Gina last time. I wanna call her Bonnie, it's just, if you find her on Instagram, it's Bonnie in the streets. Um, but the reason it's Bonnie is because that's her roller derby name. <laughs> she was, she's the one that brought roller derby to uh, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, Bonnie Blindside of the North Carolina roller girls. Uh, so that's how I met her is roller derby. She taught us roller derby. Uh, but anyway, I, I <laughs> the reason I bring her up is one, I hope you guys were able to get in touch or donate or reach out or whatever. Uh, for Abolition Now OC to help her out because she was knitting the scarves for the peoples. Um, I have, or Cinematic Skeins, I've donated, I think I donated $125 to the cause and I went to Michael's and Joann's and gathered up some blanket yarn because that's what she was using in the picture that she posted. And I sent her a bunch of blanket yarn and then I sent her a bunch of yarn from my stash and a little Prezi um, that I bought for myself in New York, but I think she would like it a lot. So I sent that to her. So donations, um, you know, the post office charged me $90 to ship yarn. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh my God. That was like a rumble. Hold on. Sometimes your stomach growling means you're thirsty. So yes, let's hope that's what that was. I know it's not. I'm, I'm starving. I haven't eaten since four o'clock yesterday because I fell asleep. Anyway, that's all the stuff in the things. Um, I think. Yes. Okay, let's open all the things that we need to open. And um, then I will go about my day. So first, let's open the Explorer Knits and Fibers that we did not open on Wednesday. This is the third week. Oh the tunnel. This is called Sonder. Sonder. That's beautiful. And this one. Is Evenfall. This is pretty. I wish you guys could see all the colors in it. Maybe you can. Actually, you know what? to be it's not gonna work work show all the colors that's not gonna work it's not bright enough that's okay whatever it's very very colorful very very colorful anyway gorgeous where's my thing there it is. and then if i can reach it That's these. Okay. Oh, throw those on there. Okay. And then we have a couple of days to open. So let's open. Let me get everything organized. This is farmer's 
daughter. I just scratched myself. Okay. Alice. Magpie. Did I grab the right thing? Yes, it's a nine, not a six. Okay. Um in the cage. I'm sure I can leave that in there. And Holidays in Hell's Creek. Let's open that one first. All the crinkling today. All right. I'm just going to go through them quickly. 16, 17, 18. Okay. 16. Mother load of Theropods by Fangirl Fibers. Badlands of Hell's Creek by Your Nations. Another green. Okay. Triceratops by Fangirl Fibers. Oh, that's really pretty. Those are pretty. Lots of green. Okay. Holidays in Hell's Creek. Done. Um... Mm-hmm. Magpie Fibers. December 17th, gift number nine. Exciting news related to business, career, and finances coming your way. Will that dream stash become a reality? I think we have the dream stash already. Um... Business, career, finances, December 17th. Was that the day of my review? Mm. Oh, I did get news on the 17th, actually. Eerie. Um, my company is reorganizing our titles. And currently, I'm a business analyst. And effective tomorrow, I'm an assistant VP. Assistant VP of what? I don't know. But eh, does it come with a raise? No. Um, but I just had my annual review. So I assume I'm going to get a raise next year. We'll see what happens. But <laughs> I'm now an assistant vice president of God knows what. I love this one. This is really pretty. It looks really familiar. I swear I didn't open this already. Um, this looks really familiar. What's this one called? Hold on. Speckle number five, Blue Moon. The Bowie one. The Bowie one looked like this, didn't it? Hold on. Do I have it over here? Where's the Bowie one? I had another one that looked like this. You guys remember? like this am I crazy do y'all remember that I had one that looked like this okay anyway <laughs> there was there was a Bowie one whatever anyway moving on <laughs> December 18th gift number 10 care series series I don't remember what that is during this transit we nourish the soul and find balance find some time for some self-care Okay, that's this one. Oh, there's lots of stuff in here. Oh, dropping. There's another thing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Urban Apothecary? Is that what that says? It says URB Apothecary. I'm going to assume that's Urban Apothecary because that sounds right. I don't know. No, it just says Herb Apothecary. Okay. Charcoal Burdock Mask. 
I can't remember what the restaurant's called, but there is a place here that has burdock root chips. Oh my God, they're so good. Anyway, not that I'm going to eat the face mask. I'm just saying burdock root chips are delicious. Um, this is, oh, what's in this other than that? <laughs> Green clay, Fuller's clay, uh, Fuller's clay, kale and clay. I have a bunch of that. It tightens your pores. It's lovely. Plantain, burdock root, cinnamon. Activated chur. Hmm. Okay. Makes approximately two masks. That's cool. Then we have cactus face polish. It's like a cactus scrub. That's new on me. Baking soda. That's the scrubby bit. It's going to dry the crap out of your face, though. Baking soda, jojoba, camellia seed, no pal, no pal cactus, horsetail, rosehip, lemon, jasmine, organic wildcraft. Okay. I feel like scrubbing your face with baking soda is going to dry it out. Is there a moisturizer? Repair salve, which you will need after scrubbing your face with baking soda. Sunflower, avocado oil, comfrey, plantain, yarrow, calendula, Oregon grape group, <laughs> Oregon all the things. Mugwort, cocoa butter, shea butter, castor oil, beeswax, yeah. Rosemary, sage, carrot seed, lavender essential oils, vitamin E. Yeah, like I said, after you scrub your face with baking soda and it's all dry, this is going to moisturize it. <laughs> Ew, that's pretty cool. Like, I'm curious to try it. I've never had cactus scrub. Um, you see the chickadees in the yard? Are they eating the blueberries I put out there? They are. I found out the chickadees like blueberries, so I threw some blueberries in the yard because I had a lot of blueberries. Um, anyway, <laughs> I ordered like a thing. No. See, that's why. Go somewhere. I ordered a like a, a, a little thing of blueberries for my yogurt and uh, they brought me a giant thing of blueberries for my yogurt and I was like the birds like blueberries so does Theo but I can't give him a lot oh I can't reach it damn it Benny whatever just don't eat that <sighs> don't eat that hey 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 <sighs> bunch of jerks go somewhere Anyway, um, moving on to the opening of the things. <sighs> okay. Alice. Oh, another pretty green. Go somewhere. Figure out what we're going to have for lunch. We had Chipotle yesterday. What are we going to have today? I got to eat better. Ooh, look at that teal. Or aqua. Very nice, very nice. All right, Farmer's Daughter. Speaking of Farmer's Daughter, did y'all see my Instagram? I got more of that, uh... What are you doing? The hazelnut toffee. I bought a sampler pack, so I got all the different flavors, except for like one. One or two I didn't get, but I got most of the flavors. Toffee. I think what I'm gonna do, all right, so we already know I'm gonna part with that Woolberry Advent, but what I'm thinking of doing is once I'm done with all the things, I'm going to, and I think I mentioned this already, right, I'm gonna curate something for you guys. I don't know if it's gonna be a give, it's probably gonna but <laughs> I'm going to curate a little bit of something from every box and put it together. That's the plan. Speaking of which, got a new box yesterday from Lola Bean. So we'll be opening that. I think they said they were going to start it on the 21st. So we're going to open that on the 21st. Anyway. Tea! Is this one real tea or bath tea? <laughs> real tea! Yay! Okay. Tea with Tay, Winter Bliss Seasonal Herbal Tea includes five tea sachets. Warm up with this decadent winter tea. Yes, sir. 
Pai Mutan white tea, Ceylon black tea, Chinese green tea, almond and coconut flakes. You lost me. Cinnamon chips infused with chocolate, hazel, hazelnut and almond flavor. You lost me with coconut. It's no. I'm gonna open this. Uh, see if they were individually packaged. I'd be like, somebody wants some coconut tea? Cause no. I have a weird relationship with coconut. <laughs> There's a chai smoothie thing. Is it a smoothie? Do they call it a smoothie? I don't know. From Trader Joe's that I am absolutely obsessed with. I buy enough when I go grocery shopping every week to last me every week so I can have it every day. I'm obsessed with it. It's made with coconut water. But I don't like coconut water. I don't like coke. I can't stand coconut, shredded coconut is disgusting to me. Pina coladas are disgusting to me. Curry, delicious. The macarons that are not the sandwich ones, the ones that have the shredded coconut, disgusting. Granola bars with coconut in them, disgusting. Curry, delicious. I have a thing. I don't. I don't know what it is about me. Like non-dairy ice cream made with coconut milk, disgusting. Curry, delicious. I don't know why. I don't know why. But anyway, I' pretty sure I would not like a coconut tea. It's pretty sure, just saying. Rambling, okay, 17. Ooh, oh, I like this teal. Look at that. The little darker specks of teal, that's lovely. Okay, and 18. are chapped. Is this soap? It is soap. Is this something or is this just stuffing? It's just stuffing. Mmm. Mmm. Is that patchouli? Balsam and fur moisturizing shea butter soap. Proprietary blend of oils. That's you don't have to tell me what's in it. There's patchouli in here and sandalwood. This is delightful. <laughs> Who's a spy? Formulary 55 in Pueblo, Colorado. Why'd I say it like that? Colorado. Yeah, proprietary blend. That's not helpful. Definitely got some patchouli sandalwood vibes. I'm a fan, I like it. It's on this thing where you take bar soap and you grate it and mix it with distilled water and you have shower gel. Gonna make some shower gel. Or, who was it? Was it Juju's? Juju's has felt balls. It's felted soap. I did not know this was a thing. I'm kind of curious about it now. Um, Maybe I should make some felted soap. I don't know. I have yarn I can felt, right? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Benny tail. You can wag your tail, but can you get off that bag? Can, can you thump thump? Thank you. Nick Cage. And I think, oh no, we're not done. Let me grab this so I don't forget it. And then we'll do this one. Okay. Nick Cage. I'm not gonna guess the movies because I want this to be done. Hey, 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 no bones. Where's, where's your piggy? Look, here, piggy. No bones. Look, piggy. Piggy. Um, put the bunny back in the box. Oh, see, I wish I'd guessed that one. That's Con Air. You're gonna chew on the bone and the piggy at the same time. 
Okay. So. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> so bright. Uh, got my first chemistry set when I was seven. Blew my eyebrows off. We never saw the cat again. Been to it ever since. The Rock. Oh, I get it. This is the green that was in the bomb stuff. Okay, got it. With Sean Connery. Oh, are there cards? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just trying to be done. I told y'all, my headspace isn't great. I'm not in the... Not that I don't want to talk to you guys. I'm just not in the... I'm not in the headspace to be interesting. I don't know. Am I interesting? Oh, that's a good curry. I'm a little tired, I'm a little wired, and I think I deserve a little appreciation. Gone in 60 seconds. I would have gotten all of these, man. The day I decide not to guess, I would have gotten them all. Angelina Jolie's in that. I love Angelina Jolie. Um, okay, she's one of my favorite people in the world. Um, she has a book, did y'all know that? She wrote a book about her UN stuff. I have that book. Okay. What's today? Is it the 18th? Alexa, what's the date? Today is Sunday, December 18th. We're going to finish the row. Okay. Oh, come on. 16. 17. Come on. 18. Come on. Let go. Let go. Let go. All right. 16. More fuchsia style purple. 17. A little more mauve added to that. And this is hurting my hand. 18. A little more orangey pink. And with the mauves and the purples. So let's look at our colors so far. I might keep this one. It's like I mentioned, I might use this to do a marled sweater. Here's the thing though, with the marling and the whatnots. I don't know if I would do it garter. I think I would do like a regular knitting marled sweater because I'm not a big fan of garter. Plus knitting in the round. So yeah. Or I could do a wrap. I don't know. I might keep this one. So, okay. Of the curating from the advents, this one is probably not going to be included in that. Um, just the other ones with the loose stuff and the extras. Um, like, for example, I was sent two things of raw honey, so I might throw one of those in with the curate thing. You know? That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, I won't throw this in because I opened it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's the plan. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm really sorry that I'm kind of boring lately. I just, I'm not in a good space. Um, well, no, that's not true. I'm in a good space for me. Like, I'm... I'm just in a space where I need to just be chill <laughs> and not like need anything to do or have anything timed. I just, I need freedom and peace and quiet and all the things, like it's nothing going on. Like that's what I'm, that's where I'm at right now. Like I need that. I need relaxation. Um, so I need things that zen me out and not something I have to be like, you know, for. And I feel like like recording, I can't just be like, blah, because <laughs> then well, who's going to watch that? You guys are going to be like, okay, she's got issues. We don't watch her anymore. I don't know. I'm just kind of in the weird, need to chill with my thoughts kind of space right now. Like I'm reading that fairy tale book. I'm also listening to an audio book. I've watched a couple of movies. Oh, um, I finally watched the Banshees of... Inishirin, I don't remember how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. 
the one with Colin Farrell and the, the, the dude whose name I can never remember. Banshees of Anna Sharon. What? I think that's what it was. And what was the guy's name? Brendan? Was it Brendan? We looked it I looked it up. Anyway, that guy. <laughs> It's not as, it's by the same guy that did In Bruges, so that kind of humor is in there, but it's not as funny. So like In Bruges, it got a little dark at the end. This movie was a little dark too. Um, and very, it's kind of sad. And it wasn't as funny as In Bruges, in my opinion. But I don't think it was supposed to be. So it's good movie. A little depressing, but it was a good movie. Um, what else did I watch? I watched a show called The Night Sky, which has Sissy Spacek and what's a dude with the drum movie? If I can never remember his name. He's on the farmer's commercials. What's his name? That guy. Anyway, I know I know his name. It's just not coming to me right now because I'm on the spot, um, which is another problem. I'm forgetful, but I'm more forgetful when I'm like trying to think of something immediately. If I have time, I'd just be like, oh, this guy. Um, so yeah, so there's that. I was going to recommend that to you guys, but then I found out that Amazon decided not to renew it and I don't want to I don't want to recommend something that's going to be a cliffhanger for y'all cuz y'all be upset as I was. Um, but it is good. It's just a cliffhanger. There's a child in my yard. Not that they don't like kids, but it's a little kid and like little things they're like, "What's that?" Um <laughs> Was there people in our yard? You okay now? Are they gone? Yeah, my neighbor likes to let their kids play in my yard and leave their trash in my curb and all sorts of fun stuff because I don't say anything because I'm the nice neighbor. Anyway, what else? Um, Sorry. There was another thing I watched and I was going to recommend to you guys. I don't remember what it was called. I don't know. I watch a lot of movies, y'all. They just kind of flip through because... I literally, that's what I do all day is watch movies and whatnot. Um, <laughs> I watched Black Adam last night. Why are DC movies not as good as Marvel movies? Y'all have the same amount of money. Um, it's all right. It was entertaining. That's, I mean, that's the point, right? It's okay. Um, then I watched The Song Remains the Same, which I've seen before. Uh, Led Zeppelin. But there should be a warning in that. There's naked kids at the beginning. <laughs> Um, let's see. I think I might watch the David Bowie one today. The, what's it? Moon, moon, something, something. I don't know. It's a David Bowie documentary. That's, that's all it needs to be. I might watch that today. Um, is it moon? Moon, something dream. I don't remember. Anyway, I might watch that today. Uh something else that I forgot to show last episode oh it's right here <laughs> snake it would have bit me um oh where I buy it though I got it on Etsy uh oh damn it and I know them like we're not like I've been on like a zoom knitting thing with them it's not comma craft because that's Corey. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to put it down here, but look at this cute hoodie. Stitch long and prosper. <laughs> yes, anyway. All about the hoodies, man. And the one I ordered from Twill and Print should be here next week, I think. I think. I think that's all I have left on order. I have that. I have my Bewitch Pigments box. And I think that's it. I was going to cancel my Row 1 membership again, but I'm I, having issues with the website. I can't find the thingy to cancel it. Um, so I may have missed canceling it. I think that's all I have on order, though. Because I've been good for the most part. Yes. But yeah, got a new hoodie. Mm -hmm. Anywho, I'm going to go. Hey, it's been an hour. See, I did okay. You got an episode out of me after all. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back to my book.
Bye. Happy knitting.